Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video I want to discuss SimRate in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Now there may be times when you're doing a long flight. Example, transatlantic flight or taking a long flight over the Pacific Ocean. Just speaking a long, long flight. 1,000 nautical miles, 2,000 nautical miles. And you know, you might not have the time to sit there 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 hours or whatever, depending on the plane you're flying and, and how long your flight is. You might not have the time to sit there for that whole time, you know, to, to do it in real time. Now, if you want to do it like that, of course you can. You know, it's more realistic, you know. But when you don't have the time, and you want to, you know, just go to cruising altitude, 35, you know, 38, 39, 40,000 feet, press your autopilot, and you might want to engage the sim rate a couple, of, you know, once or one or two times, so it'll help that cruise pass by a little quicker. Okay, so to do that, click up here when you load up Flight Simulator top right corner settings and then you click on controls and you scroll down to tools left click and then simulation shortcuts and then you, when you scroll down you will see these are the three settings for SimRate. Okay by default there's nothing in increase SimRate or decrease SimRate so if you press alternate R nothing happens. Now, I was struggling trying to figure out keys to bind to the sim rate because everything I was trying was already binding to something else. And that's the problem I was having. So, this was the solution I came up with and it works just great. Alternate R1 to increase the sim rate and alternate R2 to decrease the sim rate. Okay, and each time you press it, it's going to increase or decrease by one at a time. Now, you have to be careful with some aircraft or, you know, if you go too high, like, I find if you go beyond two, like if you go try to increase it by three or four times, sometimes it gets a little crazy and you can mess the plane up, mess your flight up, or even cause you to crash because that's really a lot faster, three or four times. So I kind of just go maybe, you know, one or two times increase, you know, and I only do it. When I'm in the air, I'm cruising, like if you're just over the ocean and, you know, and there's just blue ocean for miles, which is pretty, don't get me wrong, I love it. You might want to just increase it a little bit, one or two times and kind of speed it up, you know. So that's how you do it. And that's all that you need to do right there to increase and decrease the sim rate. So uh, I hope you all uh, found this useful because... Like I said, I had <laughs> troubles with it, you know, and I, I never could figure out a good way to do it, to set it up. But this works just fine. So, okay. That's all I wanted to share today but um, about Flight Simulator. But one more thing that's not Flight Sim related, and we will get to that right now. Okay, so before I go real quick... I want to share my Upside link with you all in the description below. Upside is an app that gives you cash back on gas in a lot of food places such as Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and places like that. And when you get the cash back, you can cash it out for gift cards such as Amazon, Starbucks, AMC, or you know GameStop, things like that. Or you can cash it out and transfer the money directly to your bank account. It's a great app and the cash back adds up really, really quick as you use this app. And also, you get a referral link and you can refer your friends to it. And if they sign up, you will get $20. And when they first use it for on anything, you, you'll get another $20. And it's very simple to use. You just simply hit claim. 
in whatever cards you have in Cash App, you use that to pay for whatever place it is you claimed. And there you go. Cash back. So, yeah, I thought I would share that with you all because um, it's a great app. It's got uh, 4.8 stars, as you can see here, out of 550,000 ratings and over 10 million downloads. It's a great app, and guess what? It works. And who doesn't want to get cash back on gas? Anywhere you can get cash back or save on gas, it's always a good thing. So if this sounds good to you, just click on my referral link in the description. And hey, sign up, and you can start getting this cash back. All right, so that's all. And thanks for watching. And until next time, bye for now.